6 o'clock tonight. We do have new details in that incredible story about a Michigan man who's been identified as a baby stolen from a Chicago hospital back in 1964. We're learning a little bit more about the man himself and what led investigators to him. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples still working the story for us tonight. Susan. Brian and Sue, the man now identified as Paul Joseph Franzak lives in a small town in rural Michigan. His exact location is not being shared, but we can tell you he does not live in West Michigan. Our Chicago sister station, WGN, did track him down earlier this week, but tells us he does not want to go public right now. He has been battling cancer, and he told them he has, quote, loose ends to tie up. We also learned tonight that it was his extended relatives in Michigan who figured out that he might might be the baby who was stolen 55 years ago. It's a story so full of twists and turns, it takes a five decade timeline to track it. In April 1964, a baby named Paul was born at Chicago's Michael Reese Hospital to Dora and Chester Franzak. The next day, a woman posing as a nurse took Paul from the hospital, prompting the biggest manhunt in Chicago history. In 1966, the FBI told the devastated Franzaks a toddler found in a New Jersey shopping center might be their missing son. The Franzaks ultimately adopted the New Jersey child and raised him as their son. In 2012, the adult, raised as Paul Joseph Franzak, now living near Las Vegas, took one of those DNA tests and discovered he's not related to the Franzaks. In the years that followed, a genetic genealogist helped him discover his true identity and searched for the real Paul Franzak. This year, a breakthrough. A Michigan man's extended family put the pieces together and DNA testing confirmed their suspicion. That man, living in small town Michigan, was positively ID'd as the baby stolen from Chicago 55 years ago. CeCe Moore, a genetic genealogist with the DNA detectives, helped solve the mystery. I always knew this day was going to come, or I always believed this day would come, because I never believed that the real Paul Franzak was kidnapped to be killed. I absolutely thought he was kidnapped to be raised by somebody, to be sold, to be, you know, whatever. Someone wanted a baby, not to murder a child. And so it was always my hope that one day he would be found. The Michigan man would not tell WGN whether he has met his real mom, Dora Franzak, who is now 84 and living in suburban Chicago. His dad, Chester Franzak, died in 2017. There are still so many unanswered questions. Who kidnapped Paul Franzak? Why? Who raised him? Where are they now? The FBI says it is still pursuing leads in this case. There is a complete timeline right now at woodtv.com, and we'll keep you updated. Live in the newsroom, Susan Samples, back to you.